Okay, right. So, what is this automation guess? What actually automation means? So, first of all, tell me guess what is software testing means? What? How many of you are aware of that one? Software testing means what? How many of you are aware of that one? What is the meaning of software testing? <coughs> you know some definition, right? At least to say that. What is that? What was that meaning? Okay. Very good, Harsh. Oh, very good, Swapna. You have added that. Yes. So, we have seen that one. Uh, the process. Anybody new to this uh, batch, guys? You all are... Uh, anybody new? Can someone please any raise a hand or send a message? Anybody new completely to this team? I don't think all I can see the familiar names only. Anybody? I missed it. Completely new today. Anybody else is there? Is Wapna, you will join there, right? I have seen your name there, Ma, in my manual batch. Okay, it's okay. No problem. So, what is the software testing means what? The process of, okay, the process of, okay, what is this one? The process of executing an application, okay, executing an application to find out the defects. The process of executing an application to find out the defects is called as what here, which is called as software testing. What is that one? The process of executing an application to find out the defects is called as what it is here. Software testing. That you already know. Nothing new for you to tell. We have been seeing from the day one of our manual session. The same thing. Executing an application to find out the defects, to find out the defect. That is what we have been seeing. Okay. Fine. Yes. That is what about our software testing. What is this? The process of executing an application to find out the defects is called as what here which is called as a software testing okay right so based on what based on what what we do it here based on the client requirement correct what actually client requirement is what is an expected value what is an actual what is expected value is what is meant by expected value and what is meant by actual value you already know that just for your re reviewing purpose of this definition, I'm saying what is meant by expected value and what is meant by actual value. Some interesting topics will be there, guys, here going forward. See, just a basic. Okay, very good Deepak. Okay, very good Salma. So expected value is nothing but what here? Client requirement is called as what here? Client requirement is called as an expected value. And what is actual here? What is actual value? Client requirement is called as what here? Expected value. What is actual value here? Developed application, right? Right. Developed application is called as what here? Actual value here. So what is that? Testing means what? Comparing of expected value with actual value is called as testing here. And what is software testing? The process of executing an application to find out the defects is called as what here? Software testing. The process of what here? The process of executing an application to find out an application to find out the defects means how many defects are there, how you rectify that and all, which is called as what your software testing. Okay, so that is pretty much clear. Now, second point. How many types of testing we have, guys? 
how many types of testing we have can anybody wants to tell types of testing how many are there very good harsh how many are there two types are there right ha ah, very good so what are they one is manual testing yes no no selman i am asking about types of testing one is manual testing okay the other one is automation testing one is manual testing the other one is automation testing how many types of testing we have it here two types what are they one is manual testing the other one is automation testing what is this manual testing and automation testing anybody wants to say i'm not getting answers archana anju bhuvaneshwari chetna deepak what happened kalavati pradesh sachin sadhana shrikant siddhant supriya vinayak what happened okay very good harsh what is the difference between manual testing and automation testing only harsh and salman is answering what about others guys you know whatever you know just give your in your own language okay so testing any application with human efforts is called as what here manual testing correct and testing any application with the help of tools is called as what here automation testing right so testing any application okay any application any application only with only with human efforts only with human efforts is called as what here manual testing any application testing any application only with human efforts which is called as what here manual testing and testing any application testing any application okay with the help of tools okay with the help of any tools is called as what here automation testing okay only with human efforts do you remember i have told you couple of examples also on this one okay so for example we are there here we are the test engineers okay we are the test engineers here okay we are there here who is this person he is a test engineer or tester okay he is the test engineer or the tester okay what we do it here what we do it here okay he is there is a developed application okay if any developed application testers testers if any developed application if they validate directly with the human efforts that testing is called as what here manual testing that testing is called as what here manual testing else any application if we test any sort of application with the help of any tools any sort of application with the help of any software tool is called as what here which is called as automation testing here with the with the help of any software tool is called as what here automation testing any testing any sort of testing if we test only with human efforts any application only with human efforts is called as what here manual testing and any sort of testing with which what we do with software tool any with the help of any software tool is called as what here automation testing like what selenium or qtp or some j meter for performance or a load runner for performance like that we have some set of tools in the market case qtp or uft now it is called as uft so if we use any sort of tool and we perform testing that is called as what here automation testing we are not using any tools and we are testing directly with your human efforts is called as what here which is called as automation testing so how it is i already told you right let me give you an example for example if you are washing your clothes with your hands means you are doing that one manually right that is a manual process 
Instead, you, you are using some washing machine and you're adding some inputs in it, means your clothes, some detergent, something like that in that. Then it gets, are you putting any effort here or are you doing any manual effort there? No, everything is done by the washing machine only. What you are doing there? You are using one tool there. Which tool? Washing machine. In the same way, any you all are aware of this one. Just I am giving you a glance on that. As you are all aware, I am not stressing more here. Okay. Any sort of testing if you are doing with human efforts, which is called as what your manual testing. Any sort of testing if you are testing with the help of any tools, which is called as what your automation testing. Got it here? Is that clear? Is that clear? Everybody clear? Got it here? Yes. So this is what about manual and automation. Now here comes the, my question is that why automation? Why automation though you have a manual testing in your hand? Reasons? If definitely asked a question from the interviewers, if you are in the beginning stage, definitely asked a question in the interviewer like, why do people are preferring automation though we have a manual testing in your hand? Anybody wants to answer that? Why do people are, okay, why do people are stressing more for automation, though we have manual testing in our hand. Anybody wants to answer? Okay. Okay, I got a uh, few answers more. Okay, very good, Harsh. It is fast. It will reduce complexity, saves time. Mm, Salman performed a lot of very good Bhuvaneshwari. Uh, yes, Salman. Uh, okay, accuracy, Archana, okay, very good. Um, okay. Very good, Siddhant. Very good, Deepak. So let me add some point. Definitely asked question in the interview. If somebody asked, why do people are preferring automation though you have a manual testing in your hand? Because for that, first of all, you have to say what? Disadvantages of, disadvantages of, what here? Disadvantages of manual testing is. Why do people are preferring automation though you have manual testing in your hand? then okay first of all let me tell you the disadvantages of manual testing like that you have to start your answer how you will tell you how you have to tell first of all let me tell you the disadvantages of manual testing then it will be clear then i'll go with the advantages of automation testing then the interview will be very much impressed here so what do you have to answer first of all you have to answer with the disadvantages of manual testing first one is what more time, right? Somebody is testing through automation process and somebody testing manually, obviously it will take more time, right? Time will be more, first point. Second point, more resources are required or not? Manual validation means, obviously, what happens here? More resources are required, isn't it? More resources are required or not? Manual validation means, obviously, more resources are required and more time is taken, more resources are required and third point, repetition is not possible. Repetition is not possible. I'll, I'll give you justification of all these points. Case. Fourth one, chances of getting a human errors. See, first one is that, see, first of all, obviously, Manual validation will take more and more and more time. See, I want to go to temple. If I go to temple by walk, the temple is around, for example, one kilometer distance from my home. If I want to go to temple by walk, I'll. if I go by walk, I'll go by 
uh, example 10 to 10 minutes or 15 minutes or 20 minutes it will take to the same temple if i go by bike or a car i'll go within two to three minutes max five minutes guys correct five minutes of time or 10 minutes of time very less time compared to walking i'll reach to the temple correct what am i doing here what am i doing here I'm, if I go to temple by walk, I'll reach there by half an hour. Instead, if I use any bike or something else, I use any tool, then I'll reach there by 5 to 10 minutes. Means my 20 minutes of time is getting saved or not? Obviously, first point. I'll give justification of each point. Case. The second point is more resources. I don't know how many of you are aware of this point. There is a saying, like what? Two to three percents of manual testing work can be done by one automation test engineer. Means two to three manual tester can be replaced with one automation test engineer. Right? So means what? We can come down with the manpower with we go with automation. More resources are required for manual testing. Two to three percents of work can be what we can do here. Two to three percents of work can be compensated with a one automation test engineer. Second point. Third point. See, a huge module is there. A very huge module is there. You started testing that a very big module daily, 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 daily. Is that manually can you able to do that big module again and again especially regression testing can you perform manually highly not possible guess you feel more and more and more tired if you are going on doing such a big application testing again and again that too manually repetition is highly not possible and chances are there if every time you are going with manual validation chances that we are going to get a human errors here Chances that we are going to get a human errors there. For example, for a 20 into 2, okay, 20 into 2, some divided by 57 into 48 by 367, something like that. Some, some, that's something I have given, okay, some formula or some cali calculations I have given, okay, right, right, some formula or some calculations I have given. So, chances are there. If you are doing this calculation every time manually, you are going to get an error. <coughs> Isn't it? Chances are that if you are doing this calculation manually every time, you are going to get an error. Okay. Or if you if you give this calculations, mathematical calculation formula somewhere in your program, do we get an error every time? No. Absolutely. There is a saying, right? A, a, a man can make a mistake, but a computer cannot. It is like that. If you write that formula in an automation, automatically that will take care by itself. You no need to do anything at all. That will be taken care by itself and you no need to do anything at all. This is what about our, what here, our disadvantages of manual testing. If anybody asks this question, mostly expected question is, why do people are going with automation though we have a manual testing in hand? So these are all the advantages of manual testing. Now let's tell what here, let's go with what here, advantages of automation testing. Let's go with what it is here, advantages of automation testing. What are the advantages here? Less time, go with vice versa of all these things. Less time, I told right, if I go to temple by using a bike, I can reach there by five minutes. By walk, I'll go by half an hour, right? So first thing, less time. And less manpower or less resources. As I told you, three to four or two to three manual test engineers work can be replaced with, an, with a one automation test engineer. So obviously, ma uh, manpower will come down, less resources. And reputation is highly possible here. How come reputation is possible? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> reputation is highly possible here. How come reputation is possible here? Because are we doing any effort over here? No, right. You have just written some script. That script you are executing it. Nothing more than that you are doing. 
you are just executing some script and that script you are executing it nothing more than that you are doing only that script you are executing it more than that you are not doing anything there repetition is is possible here is that any, any effort is doing here you have written some script please execute those scripts that's all anything more than that you are doing there no right obviously you are not doing that there correct so repetition is highly possible here and chances are there we may not get any human errors because everything is scripted and the scripts will be followed and chances are there you may not get any human errors here so these are all the disadvantages of manual testing and these are all the advantages of automation testing is that clear anybody else wants to add any points over here is that clear so no human errors here no human so if somebody asked why people are going with an automation though we have manual testing in hand just to say those four points like like this manual testing obviously it will take more time automation testing will take less time and coming to manual we require more resources automation less resources are enough and repetition is not at all possible in the manual testing repetition is possible in automation because we are not doing anything manual everything is scripted just your job is to run that script for example 100 scripts you have written 100 scripts you have written that 100 scripts you have to execute it just click on that execute button all the 100 scripts will be get executed and result will come to you your job is to just validate it that's all just to see okay 100 scripts are passed or failed how many passed how many failed that you have to do it that's all nothing is there you're not doing any manual effort here everything is automated there is the only reason why outside more automation test engineers are more and more and more preferred here and chances no human errors based on the calculations okay so these are all the disadvantages and advantages of automation testing and you know what anything if you take some disadvantages will be there some advantages will be there like even automation testing is also having some disadvantages case every point will have some advantages some disadvantages in the same way automation testing is also having some disadvantages anybody wants to add any points over here Anybody wants to add those disadvantages points here? Anybody is there? Those who want to add the disadvantages points here? Okay, somebody added. Mm, yes, Salman, you are there. Very good. So first thing I can say, right, first point is automation testing is expensive second point is second point is less some a lot less at least i can say less only but let me add like this technical knowledge is required or little technical knowledge is required at least okay little technical not automation case at least you require some less technical not little amount of technical knowledge is required or not obviously so expensive so how it can be expensive here automation testing how it can be expensive here because you are using some tools right this qtp j meter this and all some tools we require a license cost to use that tools right how it is expensive means we require a license cost okay license cost to use that tool but you know what our selenium is of zero cost. No license cost is required here. Selenium is completely, what here? An open source tool. No license cost is required for our selenium. Means you can download at your home. I can download at my home. Anybody can use it without any license cost. It is open to everyone. Selenium is open to everyone. There is no, 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 not at all. A license cost is required at all. Not at all required case. So what happened? 
one disadvantage is we have already overcome with the selenium. Yes, I do agree little technical knowledge is required. But whatever the technical knowledge is required, it is my responsibility that I am going to give it to you. So, two disadvantages are overcome by you. Right? By using selenium, you have, you have covered across two disadvantages here. <laughs> Not like that uh, Siddhant. Even when BDD has been coming to picture, that is also has been replaced. Still don't be in that mindset. That only automation scripting we can do, who will write the test cases. Not like that. When BDD has been coming to picture, that is also has been uh, replaced here. Like that it is there. Okay, no need to worry at all. That also has been coming to picture. Okay. A process has been changed more. Okay, so everybody clear? So disadvantages is like expensive and license cost. For example, QTP is there. For QTP, we require some around $10,000 of license cost is required for that one. Okay, so uh, $10,000 means very huge, right? So normally, if you come to Selenium, you are not paying any one rupee. That is what people will be preferred more. That disadvantage has overcome. So what is the technical knowledge is required for you to work on that? So I'm going to give that to you. So you need, don't need to worry at all. Correct. So these are all the disadvantages of automation testing. Clear? Advantages and disadvantages of automation testing. <laughs> okay. So now I just want to add some points like what? Why selenium is rocking in the market? Why we are preferring selenium? Okay. Selenium in market. Why selenium is rocking in the market now? Why most of the companies are preferring selenium for automation? Why it is rocking in the market now? Anybody? Anybody wants to add any point? I'll tell you one major point. Because first point is that this and simple way I can say these are all the features of selenium. Okay, because of its features only, selenium is rocking in the market now. Because of its features only, selenium is rocking in the market now. Okay. So, first one, it is an open source. Obviously, you know it, right? Anjum, will you join uh, my manual batch there? Is that more or you are joining only here in the automation? Okay, it's okay. Uh, sorry, come back to the points. Okay, listen. So first point is that first major source is that it is an open source means a free tool at all. It is a free tool. No need of any license cost at all. It is absolutely a free tool. What is required here? No license cost is needed. No license cost is needed. Absolutely free to everyone. First point. Second point is that, second point is that, first point is that, second point is that it supports, it supports multiple browsers. You know what? It supports what it is here? Multiple browsers. Okay. It supports what here? It supports multiple browsers. Like if you want to work in a Chrome, okay, for example, if you want to work on a Chrome, Yes, it supports. If you want to work on Edge, absolutely it supports. If you want to work on an IE, it supports. If you want to work on a Firefox, it supports. Okay. Almost all browsers, guys, Safari, Opera, it supports all the browsers here. In which browser you want to work, it supports multiple browsers. Uh, Everything is, it supports all the ways in all the process. It supports Androids, it supports auto iOS, everything it supports here. Okay, right. Everything it supports here. Third point, third point. It supports, it supports what here? Multiple operating systems. It supports what it is here? Multiple operating systems. Like what? If your system is Mac, yes, it supports. If your system is Linux, Yes, it supports. If your system is Windows, like under Windows also, we have XP, Windows 10, Windows 11, like the different versions are there. It supports. It supports Ubuntu. Yes, it supports. 
almost all maximum operating systems it support it supports multiple operating systems also and fourth point it supports multiple languages guys it supports what here it supports multiple languages means what if you want to work with java yes it supports if you want to work with python yes it supports if you want to work with c sharp yes it supports ruby supports perl supports like that selenium supports multiple programming languages selenium supports multiple programming languages guys and you know what in the entire world in the entire market no tool is there which supports these many browsers these many operating systems these many programming languages that do with an open source no tool is there which supports these many languages these many browsers these many operating systems that do with an open source okay got it here everybody is that clear this is what why still some points are there guys still some points are there why selenium is rocking in the market still we have more points we can go at selenium this is why selenium is rocking in the market is that clear everybody <clears throat> any questions queries here up to here still some points are there features as of now just want to give a how why selenium is rocking here <clears throat> Is that clear? Any questions? Anybody wants to ask any questions here? This is the only reason, guys, why Selenium is rocking in the market. Only, only, only one reason why Selenium is absolutely rocking in the market. Few points are also there. So before going to that few points here, it is an automation suit and it supports all the time. And it is not a single tool case. It is an automation suit selenium is an automation suit guys like what it is not a single tool it is an automation suit means what selenium is having different components guys like it have four components so what are its components you know one is one is selenium ide stands for integrated developed environment okay integrated developed environment one is selenium ide okay second one is what here selenium rc selenium rc remote control now there is no rc in the market i'll tell you why it is not there and all going forward we can see it okay selenium rc third one is selenium web driver which is very 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 important one selenium web driver and last but not least fourth one is what here selenium grid last but not least fourth one is what it is here selenium grid so these are all our compatibility testing is there right that we can do it in our selenium we've covered in our manual compatibility testing with an example water and milk i told water and oil you remember that part compatibility testing that can be covered only by using our selenium grid okay selenium ide selenium rc selenium web driver selenium grid these are all the four components of our selenium okay so in our class we are going to cover all these components guys we are going to cover each and every component in our class okay we are going to cover what each and every component in our class and still some points are there so before going to that and let me explain you about this batch case because few are pretty much new only to this automation batch okay right so this is an automation batch case daily please join with the same link monday to saturday with what it is here mm, with same 8 to 9 okay monday to saturday with 8 am to 9 pm and with the same link okay right and here you no need to write any sort of notes case recordings and notes will be shared to you by our people 
whatever I have written, every point, everything, every picture, whatever I'm showing, all will be shared to you. Recordings and notes will be definitely shared to you and all sort of documents. And I have a lot of interview question PDFs also I have. Interview questions, PDFs, how to, the questions, answers, everything that also can be shared to you. Interview question, PDFs and all. Okay. And here in this class, I am going to teach you 100 plus programs guys in our batch so that after completion of a batch you will become an eligibility that you will gain a knowledge of three plus years of experienced person knowledge you are going to gain it here that thoroughly I'm going to teach you in every 100 plus programs here so that you're going to gain a knowledge of what your three plus years if you practice more you even can add five plus also that eligibility you're going to get and I'm going to teach you a live project here. Definitely a live project will be there, right? A live project we are going to teach you guys. Okay. And that, that, that live project, we can able to add 3000 test cases for that live project. We have it here. A very big live project, which is having around 3000 plus test cases. We can go through with that live project. Such a huge one and a big one and very useful one live project here. We can work more on that one. And here, the framework I'm covering is what here? BDD framework means behavior driven. BDD with Cucumber is there, right? Which is absolutely rocking now in the market. That framework, POM framework, right? POM framework, hybrid model, right? Hybrid framework, POM framework, uh, modular framework, keyword framework, all sort of frameworks I'm going to teach you. All sort of framework I'm going to teach you. Okay. Right. And. <clears throat> okay. Right guys. And here I'm going to cover the advanced concepts like Maven. I'm going to teach you. Build a management tool. GitHub. GitHub is very useful. That also I'm going to teach you. Jenkins which is rocking again. That also I'm going to teach you. And test ng for advanced concepts and generating reports, Apache Pi for working with an Excel, Log4j for generating line reports here. Everything is what not guess. Every advanced concept starting from basics to advanced concepts I'm going to teach you. And especially, uh, let me be genuine guys, we are charging for this batch, automation batch we are charging and you are paying amount only for Selenium. And here I'm going to teach you Selenium with Java. Why specifically Java means? Compared to the other languages, Java is more feasible with Selenium. Compared to the other languages, Java is more feasible with Selenium. Okay. Uh, like what? The person when, uh, that person who has developed this Selenium, like our Jason Huggins, he developed it. When he developed it, he used the language of Java only. When he developed it for the first test, he used the language of Java only. And that way, Java is more feasible with Selenium. That is what 95% of companies will prefer Selenium with Java only. Only remaining rare 5%, they go with Python or C Sharp, something like that. 95% will go with Selenium with Java only. Okay, that is what I'm going to teach you Selenium with Java only because if we go with Selenium with Java only, a lot of interview questions, interview door, interview chances will be more if you have Selenium with Java in your hands. And for that, whatever the core Java it is required, the core Java is required for you to learn it. That core Java I'm going to teach you. Okay, and apart from that, we are covering DB testing. And apart from that, we are covering what here? DB testing, <clears throat> API testing as well. We are covering DB testing, API, API testing. And here we provide you job assistance also to you all people. Job assistance also will be provided. I'll We will guide you. I'm going to guide you how to prepare the resumes here. I'm going to guide you the interview guidance here. Interview guidance, resume guidance, everything I'm going to guide you guys. Okay, certifications guidance also and mock interviews I'm going to conduct and Sundays sometimes I'll conduct even one-on-one -on -one interviews also. Just like an interview, how you do that one. So a lot of advantages are there in joining this batch to you people and you are paying money only for this one. Remaining core Java, DB, API and all are 
for free. We are not charging anything, but it doesn't mean that I don't want to pay the fee for this one, but I want to join this. That is not allowed case. These, these and all, these two will be thought parallelly. So, so it is no separate session. Definitely you have to go with the payment. Then we go with DP and API testing. So definitely if you are done with the payment only, remaining all API, API that is just assured API I'm going to teach you. Remaining all payments can be done with a free of cost. If you are done with this payment only. Okay, so let me be genuine case. I don't want to give any false promises to you all. Let me be genuine in all these cases. Okay, so very advanced concepts case starting from the basic level. Okay, so if anybody is having any, uh, no, I'm, I'm scared. I can't do any programming. Not like that case. 100% you can able to do it. You, you, you know, you believe it or not, even I am not from a, <laughs> um, what here? IT background. Uh, I'm completely from a science background, you know, <laughs> but still I can do it now. That way I'll teach you guys. That way I learned you. That way I'll make you learn also. Okay. How to go ahead, how to proceed. And if you want, anybody wants, is having a career gaps, anybody wants to change their field to IT, this is the best chance so that you can use it case. Okay. So make use of it and get it done, the payment. And one thing is for one batch, I'm not going to take more than 20 members. Okay. For one batch, I am not going to take more than 20 members case. Because in auto, not like manual, manual, I'm saying you are listening, not like that. Automation, I have to interact with you each and everyone in person and thing in every means like how you are processing, how you are uh, working with assignments, whatever I'm giving. Is your programs or getting executed or not any issues you are facing? What not guess? Everything I need to figure it out with you. That is what I don't take more than 20 members in a one single batch. And I, I heard it like half a payments has been already completed. Still, only few people are having a chance. Go ahead and talk to them and get it done. Okay. Is that okay, guys? Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you all and remaining parts of the Selenium feature and how Selenium has been coming to picture and why it is given the name as Selenium. Why specifically the name has been given as Selenium. Why like that? Okay. So everything we can see tomorrow and then we can start working on our components. Let's start with our first component, Selenium IDE. Okay. Right, guys. Let's meet tomorrow as usual at 8 o'clock in the morning. Okay, right, guys. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow. I'm sorry, not in the morning, in the evening. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Further payment is required. Ma. It's all done in that only, Swapna. Not at all further. Who will ask for that? No, not like that. No, we, nobody will ask. You don't need to be scared at all, guys. If anybody asks like that, let me know. Okay, nobody will ask like that. I'm not sure how much the payment will be, but nobody has. I heard it this much. What you said is the right amount. I heard that only. Nobody will ask like that. If you are done with the payment, it's done. I, I'm here to help you. You're going to connect with me, right? So I'm there here until the unless the batch gets completed. I'm with you. After that, also some supports will be needed. In that case, also, if you're facing any time, anything, anywhere, I'm here to help you. A lot of my students will come back to me in any sort of questions and all. Okay, no need to worry at all. <coughs> lot of support will be there. And we have a technical team also. If you're facing any problem, the technical team also will connect with you. Okay, right. Yes. Thank you all. Thank you so much. And let's meet uh, uh, what here? Let's meet tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the evening. Okay, right. Yes. Bye. Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow.